jury deliberates in Brunswick. A local father remembers his son murdered nine years ago today. Jordan Davis was 17 when he was shot and killed at a Bay Meadows gas station during an argument over loud music. Like the Arbery case, Davis's case also garnered national attention. Today, News for Jack's reporter. Vic okay. Now, th this is Brunswick County. This is the same place um, Arbery got killed. There have probably been 200 something killed there these, <laughs> between these two words. The only two that got a national attention. <laughs> It's in Brunswick. A local father remembers his son murdered nine years ago today. Jordan Davis was 17 when he was shot and killed at a Bay Meadows gas station during an argument over loud music. Like the Arbery case, Davis's case also garnered national attention. Today, News for Jack's reporter Vic Michalucci caught up with Jordan Davis's father. Like pop, 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 pop. Black Friday, November 23rd, 2012. The person firing has left, but we did get a license number. An argument over loud music. Then, shots fired at this Bay Meadows gas station. The shooter speeding away. Inside this red SUV, four black teenagers. One of them, 17-year-old Jordan Davis. He was hit. I have never forgotten that date. I will always remember that date. It changed Ron Davis's life forever. It's now been nine years since he lost his son. Nine years of turning tragedy into triumph. As the years go on, you start celebrating more than being sad. Davis using this somber occasion to celebrate how many families his son's legacy has helped. A foundation feeding the hungry and giving scholarships to local children. Jordan's mother, Lucy McBath, using her platform to push for peace. She's now a congresswoman based in Atlanta. Damn, she rolled that shit to congresswoman. Remember when Trayvon's mom was running for something down in know? I think Michael Brown's mother ran for something too. This is a come up, man. She's a congresswoman. It's a Willy Wonka golden ticket. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, like, what a strange country, man. Salute to Eric, man. Mm -hmm. Eric, Eric S, man. For the um for the cash app, man. Salute to you, bro. Um, hey, yo, 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 Ike, uh, really quick. Davey Boyd, hit the link and tell me how I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, dude. Hit the fucking link. And Salute. and and one more thing, stop, don't don't you don't have to be tough over the internet, bro. For what? Yeah, Davey, are, Davey, are, you, are you gonna drop your are you gonna drop your address too or what, dude? Davey Boyd, man, hit the link, man. You don't have to come up here forever. Just come up and, and say what you got to say, man. Be a man, man. Stop being, stop being, stop being um a goddamn a pest, man. Come say what you got to say, man. Every you're all welcome, man. You know, come say what you got to say, man. You don't have to harass people, man. Um. Salute the builder, man. Builder with the um with the um PayPal, man. Salute to Mr. Builder, man. Um What's up, Mr. Builder? How you doing? <laughs> this is what you think about this though, man, oh man. They they riding she rode this shit to the fucking Congress, man. Oh yeah. Of course, man. And this is, but look at Houston's got one. L.A.'s got one. Oh, and they'll really? be in there for life. Houston's got one? Yeah. Mm. Um, mm. Well, not a not a mother, but a, oh, a, sister. a, a, a black queen, <laughs> congresswoman that don't do shit for her community. Oh, shit. Kevin Durant got traded to Phoenix. Wow, that negates, <laughs> that completely negates Dallas getting Kyrie, man, and LeBron, man, LeBron can forget. <laughs> hey, I the Suns are gonna be shooting lights out. The Suns are gonna be so good. Chris Paul and Kevin Durant with Devin Booker. And they still who they trade. They gave a four, a four first round picks for that. 
but no. And players. they gave up a no. They gave up a bunch. Of, I think Crawford's gone, and the the four first round picks. Yeah, for Kevin Durant. Yeah, definitely. But who they who they give up? Them first round picks ain't gonna mean shit. It's gonna be the, like the thirtieth pick. Phoenix is good. <laughs> You're not gonna get no fucking good player at fucking twenty eight, the twenty eighth pick, the twenty sixth pick. How, how long are they gonna be good for? You think you think they're gonna be? They 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 got a dynasty going or what? They don't got no they dynasty going. Got fucking Kevin Durant, and Chris Paul, and Devin Booker. That's a big if right there, Chief. What do you mean if? Chris I mean, Paul, can can they can they keep him? You know how that shit goes. There's, listen, Devin Booker's on the contract. Kevin Durant, look if the listen the way they're gonna play. Let's just say they play well. They're gonna want to stay together. Now, listen, if they if it doesn't fucking work, yeah. But I just don't see any way that doesn't work because Kevin Durant, he don't he not like. Playing with LeBron, where LeBron gotta have the ball and LeBron gotta run the thing. He can't like LeBron has to be the 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 the, the fulcrum. You know what I'm saying of the of, of the whole operation. Durant can just stand in the corner and drop thirty. Just standing <laughs> in the side. You don't have to bring the ball up. You don't have to call no plays. Just his ass, you know what I'm saying? You, you were watching the games, right? Like he just yeah, yeah. he get the ball, he, he just shoot it and it goes in. That's true, that's true. But you know what? I don't even fuck with the NBA, man. I, I'm uh Blue Lives Matter, to be honest. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. Um so salute. He wasn't salute. the one just bitching about the housing development, was he? No, that was Curry. That was Steph Curry. That's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Salute to salute to the um deluxe two four seven aka aka Kyle Ripken, aka the real MVP coming through once again. Um, salute to um freshman man. Freshman is coming through a lot lately, man. Appreciate freshman man. Um. Al Sharpton has sudden moment. <laughs> Put that in the back chat, Rami. I can't click. On, let me try to. Let me try to paste that. Whatever you just sent. Let me try to paste that, man. I, I can't. Hold on. Let me see if I can paste that. Let me see if I can. No, it won't let me do that. Yeah, just send that to me, Rami. Um, in the back chat. I'm trying to. I can't. I can't. I can't click it or email it to me right now. We'll pull up my email. Email it to me right now so I can see it. whatever you just sent me. Yeah. Um. But yeah, Kevin Durant to fucking Phoenix. He's playing with Chris Paul, who's just the perfect point guard. And Devin Booker, who's another guy who doesn't, like, dominate the ball. He's just a shooter type guy. You know what I'm saying? Come off screens and shit. That's going to be scary, man. Isn't that what they said about the Nets? No. It's going to be Kyrie, scary? No, no. Kyrie, Kyrie, dribbler. Ball handler, James Harden, a fucking pounder of the rock. Not really high IQ guys as far as point guards. They're more like shooting guards. Chris Paul is a point guard. He's like the last point guard left in on the planet. Oh, man, that's going to be... Great. LeBron might as well. The Lakers might as well uh, cancel the season, man. Just go ahead and cancel the season. You don't have a chance. Even, even before this trade, they didn't have a chance. Right. It, which makes it bad. Like, you have even, like, you, it shows you how much, how bad it was. Like, you didn't even have a chance with the teams being average over there. 
Right. You know, yeah. you know LeBron, you know LeBron is sick as fuck right now. Now they're great. Like, let's listen. Dallas is really good. Phoenix is I mean Golden State is gonna see this and they're gonna be like, all right, let's stop playing around. We gotta get in playoff gear right now. So they gonna fucking start so playing crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they got to be. They, I mean, they just walking through the season like once you win so many championships, the regular season yeah. gets boring. They just, they just, they just, they just, they just, they they not tripping off. They just, you know, trying to win enough games to get to the playoffs. They not really thinking about like trying to go win 60, 70 games. But now, yeah, Golden State like is gonna her. be like, oh shit. We gotta Man. get our shit together. They gonna fuck watch. I bet you go to state win like I bet you go to state go on like a tear where they just start yeah. playing excellent now. I promise. But you know, I but you know, I like Curry. You heard, you heard what he did recently? Yeah. They were on his ass. Yeah, and he did the right thing. I mean, listen. What's his mansion? What twenty five billion dollar mansion? Hey, man. You want some goddamn hey. Hell no! Nah. You and your beautiful Mexican wife, man. <laughs> Look, I I don't I don't know if Curry believes in the Second Amendment, but if they build that joint, you better. Listen, man. He don't have to worry about Second Amendment. He has. He That's has, true. He has. He has guards. Yeah. But but here's he got he got henchmen. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. I don't, I don't think that that's even like a, a, a woke thing. I think that's just like smart, man. Like, right. wait a second, man. Like, and these people weren't coming like next door or anything. They were just coming like um in the close area. enough. Yeah, like they were just the the shit is gonna be like in his fucking region. Right, like, I I know nobody wants to have loud music, you know, in their ear from somebody's car, you know. Nobody wants sun things who are going to be now looking for fertile hunting grounds. See, that's the thing about it. The sun teams don't have to be next door in your neighborhood. They just have to be in your region because now like when when they go to look especially with the internet nowadays all yeah. they gotta do is look at somebody's numbers yeah when they when they when they go looking for like cars to steal when they go looking for homes to burglarize they're gonna burglarize the homes in the rich neighborhood in their area you know what i'm saying like Calabasas, those are LA gangsters. You know what I'm saying? That are doing that stuff. Those those rich neighborhoods in fucking um New Jersey and shit and in Long Island that are getting those are New York gangsters that are fucking right. terrorizing those people. Like you said, all the suburbs of Chicago, what Evanston? Oh yeah, yeah. 100%. All those, places, those are so like yeah. he doesn't even want he knows that if you bring low income house. It's in that neighborhood. Those sun teams are gonna be hunting in his right. neighborhood. I, I want. I wonder if he drives a Kia. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure he doesn't, but <laughs> but you know, Congresswoman based in Atlanta. <laughs> the two sat together for not one, but two trials until their son's killer, Michael Dunn, got convicted and sentenced to life. The state of Florida versus Michael David Dunn verdict. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of first degree murder as charged in the indictment. Ron Davis is now comforting the family of Ahmad Arbery. Last week, he visited them in Brunswick as their son's killers claim self defense. When you support these other families, you know you've been there. Yeah, I've been there. I've been. You don't support when you support the one other family of a black dude that got killed by a white person in your county. There, I fixed it. Because you don't support and it took nine years to find him. Yeah, he doesn't support the other families. That Brunswick area, that's sunny, man. Those fucking fools. They're Ahmaud Arbery and this kid. A two fucking like if you want to just pluck random population samples out of that place, Ahmaud Arbery and this kid. So it's just a fucking bunch of fucking. Backwater, lead drinking, 
fucking bug eyed bubble lip, slow talking, dim witted some people down there, man. It's, if you're from Brunswick, man, I'm sorry, man. Um, I, I love y'all, man. But um, it is what it is, man. <laughs> In Brunswick, as their son's killers claim self defense. When you support these other families, you know you've been there. Yeah, I've been there. I've been through trials. I've been waiting for. Uh, just verdicts. He sees similarities, the racial divide, the self-defense argument, families having to relive the pain all over again. Davis says he's hoping for justice in that case and peace. Ironically, the case went to the jury today on the anniversary of Jordan's death. Davis hopes other families find comfort and support as they go through difficult times. And I just want to thank the Jacksonville and the Northeast Florida community for always remembering that Jordan Davis existed, that he was loved by his family, and the 23rd of November will always stand out in their minds. He says the community helps his son's legacy live on. Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station. The only picture they had was when he was eight? Yep. Um, yep. Let's see what let's see what happened, man. A man in Florida says all he did was ask a group of teenagers to turn down the volume, but then he says he was forced to defend himself by pulling out a gun and opening fire. There was emotional testimony this weekend in a rare Saturday court session, and ABC's Lindsay Janice has the latest. Lindsay, good morning. Good morning, Dan and Deanna. It all started 16 months ago on Black Friday when the defendant, Michael Dunn, parked outside of a gas station next to an SUV full of teens playing loud music. He asked them to turn it down. They said they did, but when they... Right there. You're smarter than that, Gladys, right? You guys, you guys, you Gladys on the panel are smarter than I that. I don't believe he turned it down. No, no, I'm talking Turn about park next to a car. So, like, why put yourself in that position? I wouldn't get, listen, if, if there's no parking space, go to another gas station. First of all, if I had seen a car it was, and then not playing loud music, and it's just a car full of sun teens, I'm going to another gas station. Now, I'm a son, man, so I probably wouldn't. But if I was a glider, I'd go to another gas station. Get the fuck away from them. What the fuck possibly can go good? Bunch of bump media, who are you? Hey, what's going on, man? Uh... Yeah, I'm just out of North Carolina. I've been in the chat a lot. Thought I'd chime in. Let me get this cam on. There we go. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think I would just uh, move to another space, or I'd probably just, like, uh, you know, like you just said. Is my sound okay? You're great, man. Phenomenal. Okay. All right. Thank you. So, so like, I just don't. I don't understand why he even got into this situation, man. Like, you never, ever put yourself in places where, like, the only way you should ever be around some sun teens is if you, is if you can't help it. Like, you're in a store and then they just come and bum rush in the store. Or you're parked there and they pull up and park beside you. But you pulled up and parked beside them? It's like, <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, uh, can I give an update? Go ahead. On man. something? Uh, yeah. Senator John Fetterman is rushed to the hospital after feeling lightheaded. Oh, man. So Jeez. there goes Uncle Fester. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. He, he'll survive, man. He's evil. Good he young. insurance. Yeah, he'll he'll, he'll, he'll he's gonna live to be 104. Black maybe he need, maybe needs a computer something, you know. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. Months ago on Black Friday, when the defendant Michael Dunn parked outside of a gas station next to an SUV 
full of teens playing loud music. He asked them to turn it down. They said they did, but when they turned it back up, now one of them is dead. According to prosecutors, 17 year old Jordan. Well, listen, this doesn't mean that he's a bad kid just because he's listening <laughs> to rap. No, seriously. I mean, I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, just the fact that he's listening to rap, he could be a great kid and still listen to gangster rap. So, we'll need more evidence of this. We'll need more evidence. Dad. According to prosecutors, 17-year-old Jordan Davis, seen here in this exclusive YouTube video, was unarmed when they say he was murdered by 47-year-old Michael Dunn for playing loud music. A detective testifying Saturday, he found no weapons inside the parked SUV where Davis and three of his friends sat outside a Jacksonville gas station. Did you see any evidence in any of these locations of weapons? No, I did not. Lawyers for Dunn say he was defending himself after he heard threats and saw a gun inside the SUV. In an emotional testimony, Dunn's fiance, seen in this surveillance footage inside the gas station when the shots rang out. Oh my God, somebody's shooting. Describe it. Wow, so his wife was there. So that changes the dynamic. He's on protective mode. You know what I'm saying? That makes me think differently about his act. I had no idea his wife was, was in the store. Like they never, I, I, I never knew that. Did y'all know that? I never I heard no of this case. Yeah, just his psyche. Just, and I'm not saying that. I'm not giving any excuse. I'm just thinking because it was. I was just like, damn, he was very aggressive. He was very like, he was very aggressive, and it also tells you why he probably um, parked right there because his wife was in the store, so he parked there so she could go in the store. It was probably like, you know, so she wouldn't have to walk far. He probably didn't want to park like on the other side to stay away from the sun teens. So that, you know, say so he parked right there so she could go in and then come out and get right in the car. So that's probably why he parked right there by the front instead of even in that case. You have to think like, OK, unless they were able to come up with a gun, he was screwed. Yeah, but even if they came up with a gun, he was screwed. Like, did, did they shoot him? Are you, but did you die, though? Testimony Dunn's fiance, seen in this surveillance footage inside the gas station when the shots rang out. Oh my God, somebody's shooting! Describing that fateful night. What did the defendant say? Oh, I hate that thug music. On Friday, Davis's friends answering questions, yeah. too. Isn't it true that the music was so loud? that the windows and mirrors were vibrating in that SUV. Yes, sir. Tevin Thompson testifying when Dunn parked next to them and asked them to turn down their music, they did, but the David. Yeah, but he, here's my thing, though. Here's my thing. That That's too much interaction. The only thing should have been said, if something was said, it should have been them like, hey, give me your wallet, white boy. Like, that should have been the only thing that, said if they didn't say that to you there should have been no dialogue between the two I agree. Are you talking to them yeah yeah he kind of initiated the whole <laughs> thing didn't he but at like, the same time though i mean you don't know what his frame of mind was at the time and I think that brought up in a trial that he was, he had some um, issues that was going on between him and his fiance. Mm -hmm. And so when the way I look at this case, yes, he was wrong for initiating any contact with them. But at the same time, you know, a lot of these young people need to take in consideration that the world does not evolve around them. And I think okay. that if they had just turned down the music or either just saw, hey, this dude look like he's crazy. Let's just get out of here. None of this would have happened. Hold on, hold on, AP. They're from Blackistan. He's an old white guy. They've seen scarier things than him. Like, dude, he's the least. They, they see him. They, oh, if that had been a car full of black people next to them, they would have been on edge. They saw a white guy. They're like, oh, it's just a white guy. Like and that was their mistake because they underestimated this man. They didn't realize that this guy was on 10 and he was he was already probably having a crappy day 
probably argue with his fiance. Got to drive this bitch to the store. Got to pick her up. I'm sitting in the parking lot. They got to put up with this shit. That was his but, mentality. That but, but, a, but, AP, but, but AP, if I could shoot people for stupid shit, I wouldn't have enough ammo. Yeah, I agree. I agree. He was wrong. He definitely was wrong. It, yeah. Like you said, I wouldn't even have pulled up in the gas station when I saw them. Yeah. But all I'm saying is that I think a lot of these young people forget that, you know, you just can't just, the world doesn't evolve around you. And you that know, was I that mistake. That, but, but AP, I, get, I, I completely understand what you're saying. If they're parked in front of his house and, and that shit, I completely understand him coming out there saying, hey, bucko, can you turn it down? No problem. This is a public space, man. Where you don't have it, this should be, yo, get in, get out. You're back to your life glider because this glider, you, I'm sure he lives around the gliders. You don't have you, you, this guy would have, this guy would have had a great life. He would have never, dude. He just got to worry about his bitch killing him. Yeah, like there's no, this was. This was his fault. He brought it on himself. And the reason I I'm totally saying this agree, is but we live in a society now that you just don't know where people's mentality is. Yeah, but and but, that's the scary part. I'm trying to save gliders, man. I'm a cool. Right. I'm a cool, a self-hating cool, um, a bootlicker. I'm trying to save gliders from themselves, man. Gladys, a lot of gladys support this this channel, man. So salute to all the gladys that support this channel, man. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. <laughs> Hit the cash out. Man, limit contact. Facts. Limit it. The less, the better. The more something will happen. And it don't have to be like standard or stereotypical thing just something will happen and, and not only that just contact. being in the presence of some some people it just gives you a bad it gives you a headache you know you'll be at the store <laughs> and then some sun woman comes in she's yelling and talking on the cell phone i mean it's just like you said it's just best to leave yeah and it's let, me, best let to me leave let me let me just tell you think of you gladys can you name one son celebrity or athlete, rappers included, gangster rappers included, who have made a little bit of money that live in the son community? Can you name one? And, and and listen, I'm not taking me if I'm not I'm not for nothing. I'm asking because if there is one, if you could be like, well, so and so, and we can look him up and see where he lives at. Can you name one son person who got two nickels to rub together that lives in the son community? Where did Young Dolph live? Young Dolph before he was he killed. Oh, he didn't live. No, he didn't. He didn't even live in Memphis. He lived in okay. L.A. Red Man, Method Man. I don't know where he lived. He said Red Man. He <laughs> talked about that Cribs when he was yeah. like 20 years ago. You know that was fake, right? Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if all of it was fake. Yeah, all of them were fake. Yeah, Cribs, they, they were renting homes even when the, with the good ones. But yeah, all of them were fake. Name one. He said, just you, uh, no, I don't live around some people. Even BLM doesn't live around some people. Yeah, ex exactly. So why would you pull up in a gas station next to a bunch of Sun Team blasting loud music, roll your window down, get into some kind of back and forth with them while you're with your wife? Put her in that type of danger. I mean, not your wife, your fiance. Well, you just saw the other white guy do it, remember? No, that white guy, that was a longer interaction where those sun teams, those sun men were fucking with him. And then once he finally snapped, that's the part they uploaded. 
They probably called him everything but a child of God and harassed him for 30, 40 minutes. And then when he snapped, they snipped that little minute part and uploaded it to the internet thinking it was going to get them fucking hugs from white liberals and nobody fucking and it completely backfired. If you think that that was the entire interaction, you you fucking you, you need the fucking head check, man. So um let's see what else happened. That the windows and mirrors were vibrating in that SUV. Yes, sir. Tevin Thompson testifying when Dunn parked next to them and asked them to turn down their music, they did. But the Davis wanted it turned back up. What did Jordan Davis say? F that, turn the music back up. To you or something? Jordan Davis said, fuck that, turn the music back up. Um, and he's got the no snitching. Um, this is this means no snitching. That means I don't snitch when they do that. That's what, especially back then, like this is like nine years ago. That was, that was like Bobby Schmurder era. Um, he did that a lot. That was the thing. I uh, mean, I don't snitch. Now, you don't snitch. What do you don't snitch about? So I, I think this kid may have been, you know, a little wayward. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that doesn't mean that he deserved to die, but I'm just saying, like, it, 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 it I want to see what his actions were after this. Jordan Davis said that turn the music back up to you or someone else. He's talking to me a minute later. Prosecutors say Dunn pulled out a gun and started firing nine rounds. Then the boys realizing their friend had been shot. So hold on in a minute. So hold on. Within that minute, what happened? They skipped a lot of shit. Nothing. So, so Jordan, Jordan said, a high stress situation like that, a minute is forever. And nothing else happened. It just both, like, the guy claims that he saw a gun in the car. And I know one thing about me. And seeing it as a son team and being, if a white guy said something to us, we were in a group that we didn't like. Yo, we would be fucking pissed, and we would fucking try to show him. Like first. If that guy was walking down the street, we would have came up behind him and clubbed him beside his head and took his walk. So the fact that he's in a car, there is a different dynamic, but he still wouldn't be seen as like some kind of human. He would be seen kind of like as a a thing. You know what I'm saying? If you understand what I'm saying, he's not like a human. He's a he's a he's a part of the scenery. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, no, nah, there's no way after that there was a minute of nothing. It was just, man, fuck that, turn that shit back up. It was, man, fuck that shit, turn that shit back up. Yeah, we looking at you, what? You got a problem? Like, it, it wasn't just turn that shit back up and sit in silence, bopping your head. No, nah, it, was, it was some more than that, man. Seems like wanted it turned yeah. back up. What did Jordan Davis say? That turn music. Like what? as far as uh actually hitting the person who he was actually going for for, for, for some of, but anyway, how how did he, he see a gun in the car? Was he out of the car engaging with him? Because if you just in the car, unless he just unless they flashed the gun, but if they if they didn't have the gun, then they couldn't have flashed it, so how would he have been able to see it? He said, somebody said, a gang of Negroes piled in the car, listen to Chuck Berry and the Big Bopper. <laughs> listen, man, um, I, that's a great question. That's a great question. Uh, I, so that lets you know that there's there's a there's a there's a a, 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 a verbal. I mean, a, a, there's a. a an eye that's standing off. There's a staring down. There's a stare down between the cars, right? 
Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, like he's in their car, his and they're in his car. I'm sure. I'm sure if he's in their car enough to see a gun, they're not just all looking straight. Like, right? Oh my God, he's still looking. No, like on the program, he's still looking. No, no, there it's a menacing back and forth. They're both, you know, what I'm saying, engaged in like, you know, like. Maybe he just had enough. I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe No, the there's some older people who were like, you know what? You're not going to talk to me like that. Right. And then the young group were like, you're not going to talk to us like that. But they didn't realize this guy was packing a gun. And he just was like, you know, like I said, you just don't know what people's mindsets are. And a lot of times people have piles and piles of things that are going on. You just have to just know that not to even engage now with some people, but not to engage with anybody you pick up any kind of aggression from. It's best just to, even if you feel like you're not wrong, just keep it moving. Just go. Yeah. Because you just don't know. And here's the thing, too. When you're a glider, you don't... Like, for instance, me, if a son man disrespects me, I think about it for weeks and even months and years. That's how we are. We disrespect it hurts us to the core we may have to see that sun man again and he, and he now he thinks he's bad and he thinks that now he's going to be like extra like you know, now you're like he, he he's going to like do something really bad to you now that he thinks that he can it's all those dynamics you as a glider you don't have all of that shit so even if he disrespects you and says something that you don't like, you can walk away because you don't even have that whole son man negotiation of status that we do with each other. You're not yeah. involved in none of that. Yeah, my dad, he says, you know, you could be dead wrong, but you can also be dead right. You know? Yeah, exactly. Right, but you know, sometimes you gotta let it go. Yeah, like 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 for me. Like uh A P is A P A. Uh, like she said, he was probably he was already on ten. Yeah, and I, I I'm not I knew I I'm not saying that the Sunman did anything wrong. They just did Sunman. I'm saying the glider did something wrong because the right. way he him and his group they negotiate status, they would have been. Hey, Buckle, turn it down. And like I'm turning it down. You got a problem? It's not fast enough for you. And then we were like, turned it back up. Oh, you turned it back up? Hey, partner, you're right here. This is a public space. All these people are here, they don't have to listen to this shit. And the guy would be like, I don't care. Fuck off. And then drove off and then fed off into the night and like spent his tires and, and left. It would have been over. Like, he still some, only burned up 20 seconds. Yeah, but some people. There's another 40 somewhere. <laughs> some people, it's like. Those situations lead to death. It's someone going to prison for the rest of their life. Y'all don't negotiate situations the way we do. So why would you get into a situation where you force yourself to have to negotiate a situ uh, that with us? Now, if we thrust it upon you, if we just jump into your shit and there's nowhere to go, and you're in it, and you got to fucking deal with it, blah, say, blah, it's fight or flight. Yeah, be a man, do what you do. But if you just don't have to negotiate anything with us, tense like that, why would you even do it? Because you don't even think like us. You don't even have the mentality. Like, you're not gonna go to jail for the rest of your life over this shit? I will. I'll go to jail for the rest of my life over this. You To you, that thought is fucking retarded. To me, it, it's within the realm of oh, fuck that shit, man. You're, like, even though I don't want to go to jail for the rest of my life, it's on the table. For you, that shit is completely off the table over this. Now, there are things that you would probably go to jail for the rest of your life over, but it, this is not one of them. For 90% of Sunmen, it, it's one of the chips on the table. 
Going to jail. Yeah, for us, it's retarded. For you guys, it's Tuesday. <laughs> so it's like, it's like, why would you even get into a situation like that with a game where you're not even fully equipped? You're not even fully in. You don't have enough pieces, enough Pokemons. You ain't got enough. You don't have enough. An, you don't have enough stuff to play the game. You don't have the right. Like they say, golf is a rich man's game because you need all these clubs. You don't have it. You don't have all the clubs. You don't have a putter. You don't have a driver. You don't have a sand wedge. Why are you fucking coming to play golf with me? With your fucking with with like three fucking clubs and shit. I got a whole fucking bag full of clubs. And I would even say, even too, even when you're driving in your car, you know, don't even look over in that direction. Because then they have an attitude where, oh, you're looking at me funny. Right. Yeah. That's, 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 that's why, I'm, yeah. that's yeah. why, that's why I'm moving to the whitest state in the nation. Right. Yeah, that's my point, though. Like, like the fact that you don't even, the fact that a look can lead someone on their way to their daughter's recital to fucking end up in prison for the rest of their life. And it's like a lot of times <laughs> when you come among, you know, some people, it looks like some of them, especially when it comes to females, they're looking. I mean, they just have their look, they're looking for trouble. Yeah. And the whole energy is off. And I don't know what it is, but that whole energy is off. So it's like it's best not to engage, not to look in the direction. And I'm not saying all some people, but you know what I'm saying. You go some places and it's like they're just standing in a group and it's like, you know, this is not where I should be. Just going off to direction, you know. Yeah. I, I saw that, Rami, that you sent me. I don't know if I could show that. That might be Rumble Holy, but it's funny. Put it in the... Oh, <laughs> That's just funny, man. Um, but yeah, yeah, listen, man, I just say don't negotiate status with people that you don't understand and you don't fully understand them. Even many of you after being here for a year or two, you're still clueless. You, it, don't go, don't get involved with these people, man. Back up. What did Jordan Davis say? F that. Turn the music back up. To you or someone else? He's talking to me. A minute later, prosecutors say Dunn pulled out a gun and started firing nine rounds. Then the boys realizing their friend had been shot. Was he making any sounds that you could hear? Yes, sir. What was that? Like uh, gasping for air. In the courtroom, Davis's parents wiping away tears, reliving their nightmare. Well, Dunn's been charged with first degree murder in Davis's death. Think about that. The this and this is another thing that that shows the differences in the two species. He fired from one car into another car full of people, nine shots, and only hit the person he intended to hit. If that was another way, if that was the other way, if that was a sudden man who fired nine shots into a group of white, somebody three blocks away would be dead. And somebody in the car would have a hangnail. <laughs> We're different. He fired nine shots and only hit Jordan from a car into another car full of people. This is more different. proof you never, ever, ever talk to police yeah. when something like this happens. Species, man. We're different species. And yes, we can have sex and have babies and stuff like that. And yes, we can be friends and stuff like that. But when you're talking about like arguments and tense situations and life and, and, and the way we interact like the, da, 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 da. the reason black men and black women can and the white men black women and white men and black men and white women can 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 coexist at to some degree 
is because pussy plus dick equals a fuck. And the feeling you have for a woman, the that that feeling that goes through your bones when you got a crush on a woman, that is that over Trump's race, or that feeling a woman has when she you know wants to decides that this is the man that she wants to make miserable for the rest of his life. You can't fucking do anything about that. But men and random situations from different groups negotiating status who's going to be the alpha male if i'm a glider i don't do that with a sun man man i don't get into a piston contest with a random sun man like I, like some kids you a bunch of kids you don't know from adam maybe a sun man that i would know or knew for a while but a sun man I don't know from a fucking can of paint. Nah, that guy, when I reached and touched him, blood. Yeah, that guy deserves what he got, man. He deserves to be in jail for the rest of his life. But like when I reached and touched him, blood, blood up here. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I was just gonna say it. Look, it seems like he really had to drop on him. Like I'm, I mean. If he's the only one, it's not like like I was saying before. Like, how did he uh, uh, theoretically see a gun in the car if he didn't already was standing, so he could see it? I, it's a lot of missing. Uh, I don't know uh, unless we're gonna hear some testimony about like the positions of everybody. Oh shit, guys! I'm sorry. I got a split. I just noticed some time. All right, man, take it easy. Minute. We well, didn't thanks hear. Thanks for putting up with me, everybody. Uh, Have a good one, man. Good one. Good night. But yeah, what happened in that minute, we didn't hear. Yeah, let's try to see what happened. Man. Fingers. Michael Dunn, the man charged with first-degree murder in the Jordan Davis case, looked on as witnesses relived the night the 17-year-old was shot and killed. Davis's best friend, Leland yeah. Brunson, among those who testified. Do you love Jordan Davis? Yes. Are you lying for Jordan Davis? No. He was sitting next to Davis in the back of a red SUV when an argument over loud music broke out at a Jacksonville gas station. It's fair to say he asked for a common courtesy just to lower the music, correct? Yes. Tevin Thompson, another teen in the SUV, says Dunn, who was in his parked car next to them, asked them to turn down the music. Thompson described it in court as pretty loud yes, and said Dunn told them. Turn your music down, I can't hear myself think. Everyone agrees the music was turned down, but that's when things escalated between Davis and Dunn. But isn't it true that Jordan Davis said to you, that turn it back up? Yes, sir. Thompson testified he did exactly that and that he turned the music back up. It's at that point the timeline gets fuzzy. Dunn told investigators he heard threats, then saw a weapon. I saw a barrel come up on the window, like a, like a single shot shotgun where there's a barrel. Mm -hmm. Now, how would they get rid of that? Let's just say, let's just say that's true, right? How does that, how do, because when the cops come, they don't find that. And um, Doug Chuck says, quick gun-shaped hand gestures, perhaps. Yeah, I mean, they could have done that. Gun-shaped hand gestures at them, whatever, blah, 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 but. I don't, I don't, I don't think off. he even saw a gun. I think yeah, I that he think just he made that up. Yeah, I don't I don't think he saw I don't I don't think he saw a gun. But, you... but I think what pissed him off was that attitude, and I'm quite sure that Jordan cursed at him. And like I said, this guy was not in the mood for that. Yeah, I mean yeah. And see this part of the barrel, I saw that part of the barrel. And it was either a barrel or a stick. But, sir, they're, they're, they're like, we're going to kill you. Done by his own admission, says he pulled out a gun that he kept in his glove compartment. And he says in self-defense, <laughs> fired multiple times. Jordan Davis was shot. What did the driver do with the gun when he grabbed it from the glove compartment? He cocked it back. 
As for Michael Dunn's claims of being threatened with a weapon first, police say they never found a weapon inside the teen's SUV. In court, all three teens maintained they never had a weapon. When you got out of the car in the plaza, did you did you take anything out of your car? No, sir. Did, did you take like, for example, did you take a shotgun no, and sir. like shove it under a car that was in the parking lot? No, sir. Did you did you try to throw it out on the South Side Boulevard? No, sir. One officer who arrived <laughs> short. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, they. they hmm. No, and sir. like shove it under a car that was in the parking lot? No, sir. Did you, did you try to throw it out on the South Side Boulevard? No, sir. One officer who arrived shortly after the shooting described what he saw. I saw a uh, young black male sitting on the driver's side rear passenger seat, uh, sobbing uncontrollably. He was cradling a, another young black male's head. Tori Dunn joins us now from Jacksonville with more. Do we know, did Jordan Davis ever get out of the SUV? Because that keeps coming up in court, doesn't it? Yeah, Anderson, it comes up all the time, and it's really key to the claim of self-defense. I want to point out that the defense attorney is saying, making the argument that Jordan Davis is the only one in that SUV who didn't duck because he was trying to get out of the car. But today, his best friend actually testified he saw Jordan Davis touch the handle. But Anderson, he says he never opened the door, never tried to get out. Hmm. Mm. He, he touched the handle, but he didn't try to get out. But see, this is, should be a lesson to a lot of the young son teens. All that gangster mentality and gangster stuff, it doesn't work in real life. And I look at those boys, they don't look like the type that's out there in the streets, mm -hmm. you know? And just a stupid mistake and the attitude got this boy killed. Yeah. That shit was crazy, man. Yikes. That's just terrifying, man. Um, I feel bad for that kid, man. Um, but yeah, I mean, he dealt with him harshly, man. It was that was leave like, that street mentality and all that crap at home. It doesn't work because one day you're gonna ride up on somebody who's gonna have just as much attitude as you do, and it's not gonna end well. Mm -mm. And this happened to be that day. Yeah, it's 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 he's. Did. Like he fired on him and he killed him. Like that guy didn't have a fucking chance. He fucking wet his ass up. It didn't hit nobody else. Yes, yeah, uh, almost like that uh, Pulp Fiction uh, uh, Samuel L. Jackson scene. Jackson scene. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will exactly. fire down. Yeah. And another thing, have some respect for your elders. Because all these young people, they don't have no respect for older people. Yeah, man. Just don't be a dick in general. Facts. Yeah, definitely don't be a dick. That's a, that's all. That's great. Um, let, let's do one city before we get out of here, man. I'll do one city, man. I, I still, man. I, even though I started late, I still got to get some sleep, man. Um, let's do one city, man. Give me, give me, give me a city, man. He said, I'm glad to put it in this range time. <laughs> yeah, that glider, that, that, that glider, man. I mean, that, that's a tough shot to only hit the, the one guy. But it's not really because, I mean. No, it's it, not really. Your different mindset. Like, you care 